Hey, this is Dara. Well, this is part two of the video, I know I'm trans, should I transition? I'm going to start it off with a few seconds from the end of the last video. If you haven't watched part one yet, you're going to want to watch that one first and then uh, jump in here and watch part two. <clears throat> Weighing out the risks of your transition is one thing that you can do to help uh, it feel less overwhelming. Literally get out pen and paper or use your computer or device and list all the different areas of your life. And like I said, you could do it ranking on a scale of one to 10. You know, how risky, how much of a risk does this pose to my marriage, um, to my employment, to, um, you know, my own sense of well-being out and about in the world. Make a list of all those things and rank your risk factors and you might have to sit with that for a little bit. It might change over time as you maybe start testing the waters a bit here and there, telling more people about what's going on. Um, maybe exploring your gender identity through your clothing or name change or anything like that. You might find that um, some of those risk factors go down and some of them might go up, but there's no way you'll know unless you try. And um, I'll mention a tool at the end of this video that you can use as well. So the other thing you can ask yourself is if there's a way to compromise. Are you able to do a little bit at a time? Um, is there a way that you can time this? Like some people I know maybe are in a particular stressful time of their life. They might be in graduate school. They could have just had a baby, you know, looking to see is there a certain amount of time? Should I let this pass before I then maybe take steps to transition? Um, and again, check with yourself to see if you're really just making excuses that no, oh, no matter what time of my life, it's actually, I'm never going to do it. But be realistic if there's certain times that might be better than others. So really when it comes down to it, you might not know right this second how much you can withstand um, not transitioning. And I think again, that's something that can only come with time. Uh, so Carl Jung calls it tension. It's a tension that you feel inside between, let's say, who you are right now and who you think you can become. And the fact that you're having, you know that you're pushing things down inside about yourself, you're not sharing it with the world, there, there's a tension that starts to build and build and build. And at a certain point, it might be too much for you to withstand. And you might, regardless of the risks, have to take steps to transition. Um, again, that's something that's very individual. It's something that can take time to figure out for yourself. But you can, um, again, maybe you can journal or document about that tension that you feel inside. Some days might be easier than others. There might be some days where it gets harder, and if you have more and more harder days, then that's really a sign for you to um, try to find someone to talk to about this. So that brings up my last point, is that definitely whatever you're going through um, as you're trying to make this decision, find support, find people to talk to. You can find um, maybe a therapist who you can talk to about this, and that could be the only person you talk to. You might have a couple of trusted people in your life right now that you can talk to about this, you might find new friends who are on the internet or maybe at a local support group or at a conference that you attend that you can talk to. It's really important that you don't keep all of this inside only to yourself. That is going to make that tension that I talked about grow really, really strong, really fast, and it's gonna be a hot mess if you try to do that on your own. So um, definitely reach out and um, look for, uh, oh, also look for signs of um, that tension as it builds. There's gonna be certain signs that tell you that it's building. Again, everyone's different. But for instance, are you being, uh, are you getting angry more often, just in general, at people? Are you drinking more than you know you should? Are you turning to drugs that you know you shouldn't turn to? Are you doing things like sabotaging yourself in certain ways, like not going to work, um, just doing things that you're like, oh, this isn't good for me, this isn't normally what I would do, but at this point, I don't care. That means that that tension has gone, gotten too uh, difficult for you to withstand because now you're, you're having unhealthy reactions to that. You have to find ways to let it out and let it out. So I know this was a pretty serious topic, but I know it's something 
that a lot of you um, think about and have on your minds. So um, I wanted to mention the resource that can help with some of this, and it's um, my book that I just released uh, this summer, and it's called You and Your Gender Identity, A Guide to Discovery. I will put the link um, down below. It is discoveryourgenderidentity.com, and um, there is a risk assessment in the book uh, where you can actually go through the different risks factors that I mentioned and be able to chart them and really think in detail about how risky might this be to transition um, there's also uh, different sort of um, quizzes you can take to rate how difficult is your challenge um, and your struggle with your gender identity. And there's also um, a lot of information in there about how you can find support from people in your life. And so, um, again, if that's something that you feel like could be of help, then I um, suggest that you check my book out and see if that can um, maybe give you some more clarity around this. So. I'm um, really glad you found this video, and I really hope for those of you who needed to watch it that it provided you some insight. Just remember that even though right now things have uh, improved for sure over the years when it comes to being able to um, transition, there's still a lot of work to be done, and it's really understandable that this is a hard decision to make. There's a lot of factors to keep in mind, so, um, so be strong take care of yourself, find support, and I'll talk to you again soon.